So hi, it's Brother Wayne here with Brother William. And today we're going to take a look at the uh, solo I played on the MC5's recording of Looking at You. This is the Atlantic Records version of the solo. There's a couple other ones around. Uh, the original single is completely different. And um, in point of fact, every time I've ever played the song, is completely different. Um, that's the kind of way that we do it. The idea was that I really wanted to like show off and do something unique and special. So um, this is what I think I did. I went. <laughs> Close, not exactly right, but close enough. So that's that's basically the the movements of it. I know you've worked on it a little bit, so I'll just play the rhythm guitar part, and then you can give that a try. are improvised you know so it's really however you feel it um, but the rest of it you know all this the idea is you're just building to a peak and and in the arrangement back then in the band we knew that when when I got that solo to that certain point both when if, if everyone was listening to me and watching me, they'd know that that was going to be where the song would break back down and Tyner would start the second verse. Okay. So this one, it's a, it's a, this is all Chuck Berry. Stole, stole everything I know from Chuck Berry. So it starts with just this um, kind of E minor on the top. <laughs> It's, um, I have a lot more gain on that solo, so the notes ring out longer, but that's basically it. It's a lot of this, this, uh, this... Um, the trick, I think, there is just to keep your tempo, make sure you're on top of the beat. Um, and you're pushing it a little bit. You're a little bit ahead of the beat on that. So you're so you're really forcing those notes, forcing everything forward. All right, Will. So these are these these flourishes here. You just let them rip. See what see what you can come up with them. <laughs> That's where we all start. This is the part about playing the guitar that's not fun, and it's not fun to listen to. It's just you have to, you know, train your fingers to do the things that you need them to do Absolutely. just by doing it over and over again. I mean, even I don't do it so great a lot of the time, and I, and I invented it. <laughs> but you, you, yeah, you're not striking oh, every note. You're just striking the top note, and yeah, and the finger technique carries the note. That's it. That's it.
All right, so this is just a, a, basically a, a compilation of the first two solos together. It starts with this feedback here. G, F sharp. Trilling off into the sunset. One thing that will help you is get more gain on your sound. If you have more gain, um, you'll get away from that kind of plunky tone and you'll get more of that the smooth distorted which will actually make this stuff sound a little bit better absolutely okay so that's it we're gonna we're gonna meet up again in one week you're one gonna week. go rehearse absolutely and we'll 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 put part two on um, a week from now good luck happy happy trills okay here's a I'm going to try to play the solos uninterrupted, so uh, this will be a close-up on my hands. Thanks, guys. So, everybody, that's me being me. Now, you be you. <laughs>